Hey guys, Bossman Leonard here, and today we'll be re reviewing um, Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Megatron. Now, usually we'll do um, the packaging, but I got this figure in North Carolina, and I currently don't have the packaging, so I have this slightly banged up box of crest. Yay. Now, <laughs> that's up the way. This is a Takara Hasbro figure. I'm not sure which. They all have Takara, Generations, Hasbro, whatnot on the boxes. Um, these are some of my... Um, this is one of my favorite designs from Megatron. I've always loved the tank design. I'm getting close in on some of the paint and detailing. Focus camera. There we go. It's got great copper paint. Um, a lot of this will is probably molded in in gray. Not probably. A lot of this is molded in in gray plastic, and a lot of it is unpainted, which isn't not bad. But there is some gray paint on here. Um, I'm pretty sure all the black on here is from a gray pla is from black plastic. Um, from what I can see, any and all paint on here is very durable and um, I haven't had any paint chippings with it unlike somebody who gets a new paint chip every time I look at him wrong so um, here I have him in his vehicle mode um, let me get some stuff to give you a good size comparison here he is with Siege Hotlink Here he is with Studio Series Starscream. Here he is with Leader Class Studio Series Megatron. And here he is with Deluxe Class Soundwave. Now, as articulation is um, concerned, these two are on hinges and can move up and down for whatever reason. These are on hinges, can move up and down to really display however you choose. You can display them down, you can display them up. I personally choose to have them up. This goes up and down. Nothing rotates on here. Um, here's the underside, which is, of course, kibble-centric. Um, kibble um, I've really wanted the old leader class um, Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen, but never was able to get my hands on it. Um, here's an early peek at the head sculpt. He does have a little bit of a... What would I call this? His head is visible. I, I don't know. I don't know or care. Um, his head is visible, but that is movie accurate. This um, line of Transformers prides themselves on being movie accurate, and so far I haven't seen a Megatron from this movie that is more accurate than this one. So I think I've covered all the... Well, I haven't covered everything. This side doesn't tab in well. It easily untabs when it wants to. It is on a loose one. This one's more firm. Like, I can hold them from both. This one won't give away. This one will. He does roll a little bit, but down to transformation. So first, you want to... Take this whole assembly right here, move it up to get it out of your way. You're going to want to move these legs to the side. Um, they There's a port a tab right here that will go into a slot right here. You're going to bring them down. Oh, I need... Uh, tripod has a loose, a couple loose ones. So you're going to want to bring these down and rotate there. On both sides you're then going to want to tab that in um, same thing on the other side <laughs> oh pieces do tend to pop off these um, really it's only the ones on the legs this piece and these pieces these four pieces on the legs do tend to pop off if you think it's because I'm being rough with it it's not fold that down Take this, you're going to want to continue until you feel a slight um, click. Bring this down, 
move to this to the side, and boom, you got a leg all done. Same thing on the other side. You know, I want to bring this, slide this. Now, you can, there's multiple ways. These do split apart. Um, I just sometimes split them apart. Um, the other one doesn't, s s yeah, okay, work, work in front of the camera, but like, like, this side usually gets pushed in, so I usually don't do it for the sake of symmetry. So, let me move the camera up a little bit more. So you're going to want to bring out this arm. There's a tab right here that will go in a slot right here. Bring that out. Orient the fingers properly. And then you're going to want to take this, fold this out. There is a tab right here. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, there is a slot right here that'll go into a tab. What? Apparently I'm wrong. Okay, uh, moving on. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Um, it does tab in. Really, all you have to do is orient the finger outwards. I can't say where it tabs in. It doesn't look like it does. But I assure you it does. Now you're going to want to collapse this whole assembly. This clicks right in, it's a muted click. So you're going to want to boom, boom. And the, you're going to want the gun to go here. There is a special area for it to go in. There are grooves cut out for it so the gun can go in smoothly. Flip this aside. And boom. Well, not boom yet. Flip these in. Flip the head down and make them go pop. And here you have Studio Class Voyager Megatron in his robot mode. And it looks really good. I personally enjoy the design of this figure. I always like the gun arm. I just wish there was a way that this tabbed in because he did have a hand in the movie. But, oh well. Um, there is a gimmick that a lot of you really want to see. It's not spring-loaded or anything, which, thankfully, it's not. Um, it's a very nice um, molded-in detail. Um, I have one ish slight issue with it, and it's it's not plastic. It's a rubberish material. Same thing with these hands. The reason I don't like that is because rubber has a ten tendency to be warped um, when, when stuck in a position for too long. Taking a closer look at his head sculpt, I can't find out where the camera's going. Um, he's got a very Megatron head sculpt. Very nice black eyes. My phone sucks, so um, I'm sorry if it doesn't look as good. Um, not a lot of paint. There's a little bit of paint for the mouth. Um, this figure is you, largely unpainted. You do get your bits of copper all over the figure. Just lots and lots of molded in detail. Um, a lot of the complaints for this figure is that this gap here, I personally have no issue with that gap because I'm not going to display it from this, like this side. It's going to be probably just standing in a neutral position, maybe a ready stance. I never had an issue with it. But, eh. Um, as far um, control issues go, um, nothing on this figure has broken on me yet. Aside from these easily just popping off. They should have used a stronger plastic or put a pin through them. Um, I wish they had done that, but they didn't. So, I'll just have to live with this popping off every day. But that's not... Of too much of an issue. They pop just as easily back on. Um, as far as posability goes, he's got a ball joint at the head. And there's a hinge right here so it can go up. So now he can really... He can go, ooh, 
a plane. And then, well, if you if you want to, you can say, ooh, look, a penny. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, it can go all the way around, up, down, left, right. Um, both of his arms are on um, 360-degree um, swivels. You got a swivel right here, or rotation, whatever you wish to call it. Hinge joint here that allows him to go up this far without really pushing it. Um, hinge joint at the shoulder that allows him to get over 90 degrees of bend there. The fingers are on two separate hinges, which is very puzzling as to why they didn't, just didn't make them individually articulated. Maybe for cost or something, I don't know. There are some hollow bits in here. That's not a concern. There is no wrist swivel. No waist swivel. There is a thigh swivel. Legs can go up this far, maybe more. Hang on, move this out of the way. I mean, he can, he can go up here, but like it tends to go outward. He can go back that far. He can do the full splits. Um, bend at the knee here. Shoulder on um, this thing. I don't know what this would be called. I don't have chicken legs. Um, can move out of the way to compensate. There is no ankle swivel. There is... Okay, so there's no secondary bend. You, it's just permanently like that. You do get ankle tiltage. And it looks really good, actually. I've seen a lot of ankle tilts. And some of them look very unnatural. But this, this is fine. I like this. It looks natural. It looks like he's, um... Just piles of treads for feet. Um, these do move side to side. Um, this moves out. This moves in for whatever reason you want. Um, now for comparisons. Um, some random dinosaur everybody's had at least one point in there as a kid. Paint chipping star screen. And... Earthrise start um, sound wave. So in all, this is a really good figure. I like it and I recommend it to any collectors out there who are looking to get a Megatron that actually looks like a Megatron. I should probably elaborate. Something that doesn't look like it came out of a trash can um, and has a crappy voice feature. Talk about the leader class. I still want it just because I'm a completionist. I like to have a lot of different transformers from multiple different lines, and I will someday, hopefully, eventually get it. But right now, I haven't. Um, good amount of molded detail, nice paint work, nice. Um, pretty much all around, it's a solid figure. Nothing's incredibly loose. So, 